Hello, my name is Bevan Mace, and I'm excited to be able to share with you some highlights of what we now know about why Project Excel and the impact of Lean. Lean Construction Institute undertook two research efforts this year. One performed by Dodge Data and Analytics, and a second by University of Minnesota. And now we have clear, compelling evidence that shows those projects with a higher lean intensity are three times more likely to finish ahead of schedule and two times more likely to finish under budget. First and foremost, to understand and benchmark the state of project delivery in our industry. Something that we continually try to chase, but often don't have enough data to really provide a compelling benchmark that we can use year over year. Second, we wanted to understand the impact or lift of lean practices. And then third, of those lean practices, we wanted to know how and why they help those projects succeed. The findings are, when we look at satisfaction and value, is that satisfaction is often very difficult to pin down because it means different things to different people. And so we first asked owners to tell us about their typical projects and their best projects. We also asked them around what was valuable to them, and they told us that schedule and budget are most important. And so when we look at the results, when we compare typical and best for schedule and budget, we get these results, which are not unsurprising that more typical projects finish late or over budget, and that best projects have a bigger opportunity to finish ahead of schedule and under budget. What's really interesting to us though is one, we now have a benchmark of the state of the industry over a large number of projects between typical and best, and two, we can start to understand what is the differences between the typical and the best projects, and even more important, of the best projects, how do we get to be the best of the best. What we find is that on best projects, 75% of owners are engaging the key stakeholders prior to conceptualization, sometimes as early as validating the performance for their projects. That's a stark difference than typical projects and something we really need to pay attention to. Secondly, those project teams are learning and growing and using different management methods than they traditionally have used. We asked about 27 management methods to really understand what those project teams were doing on best projects versus typical projects. We discovered these eight are really the top of the list in terms of the biggest gaps. And so when we look at this chart, we see that 44% of the best projects are using co-location compared to only 6% of those typical projects. So this tells us if we want to move from typical to best, these are the roadmap we can start to explore to, to generate more value by using those lean methods. Through our case study research, we also understand that co-location can work in a variety of different ways. Traditionally, this is seen as been full-time, on-site, uh, co-location, we're actually finding strategies that en enable the use of part-time co-location or virtual co-location to achieve similar results. We also looked at the project delivery and contract types and really what we find is that as long as the project team is supported with contracts and project delivery methods that allow an appropriate distribution of risk and reward across project teams, that best projects can, can occur. However, the really big difference we've seen between typical and best is that really this gap on integrated project delivery and cost reimbursable with shared risk reward is where there's a significant gap between typical and best and that those, those project delivery and contract types work together. And from the, from the case study research, we find that though that delivery model really it creates this strong pool to use more lean methods. And that's where we get to then kind of the conclusion of our results. When we add all that up, we get to this point where we're able to say, of the best of the best, okay, so this is not typical and best, this is of the best projects. The projects that have a higher lean intensity are three times more likely to finish ahead of schedule and two times more likely to finish under budget. So now does that mean we have to start, if I'm not doing any lean, I want to go full ramp up to lean? No, we need to do it in a responsible and intentional way. It's just saying if you're on a lean journey, get started um, and go further. And if you haven't started, get started and get, maybe by your third project, you're going to be in that high lean intensity group. We need teams to better set their targets. We need owners to help establish them and teams to validate them. We need owners to bring and onboard their key stakeholders much earlier than ever before to help that validation as well as to start establishing how the team is going to work. And when they're establishing how the team has worked, they need to start to learn and grow and increase their use of, of lean methods. Um, and then ultimately, lastly, the team has to be supported with a contract that allows that team to learn and grow and not get in the way like some of our traditional contract types. I think there's probably two challenges 
You know, one is this is an experienced business, and so oftentimes what worked on the last project is what I believe is generates the, the right outcome for the next projects. And so it's it's really about change and managing change, and that ultimately comes down to an individual conversation. This research makes it clear that a lean culture, along with strategies and tools, can significantly impact project outcomes. A purposeful investment to engage and train a team in some or many of these practices will improve the business outcomes for all stakeholders. Don't let a specific contract or practice stand in your way. There's a lot to learn. Why not get started today? For more on LCI research and tools to assist you in your lean journey, go to leanconstruction.org or seek out your local community of practice.